Our elderly are a conventional lot. They enjoy routine, early nights, and love to moan. So we're told. But for some, retirement is an opportunity to break all the rules. They're living at large in Tenerife. Ready? Blowing their pensions, winter fuel allowance, and the kids' inheritance on cheap booze, very late nights, and karaoke. Go. We follow shot-sinking grandmother Cheryl. My motto is, if you can't remember, it didn't happen. 74-year-old ladies' man, Lee P. Lee. I think Viagra is probably one of the greatest inventions ever. <laughs> Cheers. Binge drinking granddad Pete. You've been very drinking. I've never touched a drop all day. And party mad pensioners Gordon and Marie. Oh, silly old day pensioners having a good time <laughs> and showing these kids how it's done. With the kids grown up, mortgages paid off, and final salary pensions, they're partying like there's no tomorrow. They may have an appointment with the Grim Reaper, no! but he'll have to catch them first. <laughs> it's breakfast for Tenerife. Sunny today with highs of 22 degrees. And especially for my expat club, happy Monday. Remember, it's paradise. Every year, tens of thousands of pensioners visit the island of Tenerife, migrating south from the UK's miserable winters. We've gone from catering to 17, 16, even 15 year olds, kids being sick in the street, to the 65 and 70 year olds, really. They get quite raunchy when they've had a few drinks. Year-round sun and tax-free booze make Tenerife a hedonistic haven for oldies looking to let their hair down. Or what's left of it. <laughs> During the winter, these partying pensioners keep the tourist industry alive. Bars and restaurants normally employ smart young Brits to lure in affluent OAPs. But one bar in Los Americas takes a different approach. They've made a more senior appointment. If you die in an airport, have you got a terminal disease? Nice beer, guys. Grandfather Pete Lackey from Leeds. His job is to attract potential customers. Hi, ladies, how are you doing? With his unique style of charm. I dressed as clothes, was it? Would you like a nice drink today? Coffee, tea, banana sandwich? With sugar. After his business went bust and his marriage broke down, Pete moved to Tenerife. You all right, guys? Nice beer. When my kids were right, really small, we used to come on holiday and stay in Los Cristianos. So when I got divorced, I just thought, well, that's it, I'm off. Homemade meals. They've been doing the same job since I started here. Strippers at 12. What skills to do this job? Absolutely not. Have a seat, madam. Can you fit in that one? You're a bit big. Um, you've got to love people, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. This one might be better, because no arms on here. You've got your backside in us. <laughs> Three years ago, he tried to return home. Hello, how are you doing? I just could not hack it. I couldn't stand the rain on the windows every morning. I couldn't stand putting money in the electric meters and gas meters. Was he gasping? Not you could not live the lifestyle we live here back in the UK. Happy Monday, Pete. You just could not afford to go out. And that were it. I left a load of stuff there and just come straight back here. Nice beer. Would you like a beer? But here the booze is tax-free, so Pete can always afford a cheeky shot. Nice tip. Even on the job. It does give you a lift. That's what a PR needs. Toasted sandwich. You need to get your mouth going. Anything you want, you can get here. Blackboards for sale. But Pete's boss isn't convinced that his boozing brings in the business. To all the girls I've loved before. He's received five formal warnings for drinking. Nice drink. 
to make matters worse, every afternoon Pete has a break between shifts. Cheers. That he spends in the pub. Good minute. While Pete binge drinks the afternoon away, former 60s singer Leapy Lee is living every red-blooded male pensioner's fantasy. In 1968, Leapy was a one-hit wonder with a song called Little Arrows. Being famous was wonderful. Don't anybody ever tell you it's not. They're lying. It's wonderful. He's a firm believer that age shouldn't hold a man back in the bedroom. I've always been very open about taking Viagra. I think it's a wonderful invention. The girls love it too. Especially if you take two. <laughs> 74-year-old Leapy has just started a love affair with Bettina from Denmark, who's only 49. She loves sex shops. <laughs> oh, she loves her sex shops. Oh, people are going here. Ah, ah. <laughs> Bettina comes over once a month and stays for a month. Oh, my brother suits me that, to tell you the truth. I think she would like to be here more permanently, but I'm not quite sure if I'm ready for that yet. Bettina is flying into Tenerife this morning. She's a lot of fun. She's also one of the most jealous women I've ever met in my whole life. I think she would quite happily kill somebody if they came on to me. I missed her, actually. <laughs> Break out the Viagra! <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home, darling. <laughs> Have you missed me? Oh, I missed that. Yeah, I'm sure you did. No, thank you very what? much. Yes, yes. I'm driving. Oh, no. Between a very highly sexed, I suppose you could call her. Well, she's at the peak, isn't she? 49, 50. You know, women start coming into their own at that time. Well, I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I bought a small toy, a purple one, for you. A purple one? <laughs> and you go in the back and in the front. Oh, lovely, yes, oh. very nice. What are you looking at? I've just I've seen a man. Oh, you want to knock her over. Like, like that without no, asking don't. the women. No, no, I didn't. Yes, I just you do. Didn't want to knock her over. That was yeah, yeah, right. So why the fuck are you looking at her ass again? Knock her off, not knock her over. Oh, I don't have pants on, by the way. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Pete has spent his siesta boozing. He's a little worse for wear. And he's due to work the night shift. I don't love drinking. I do it out of boredom more than anything else. Um, it's just what do you do when you've got a four and a half hour break in the afternoon? <laughs> You know, I'm not a rich, you know, alcoholic, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, of course you have a pint here, there, and everywhere, yeah. A lot of people would not turn up for work. <laughs> Good thing. Oh, shit. Bollocks to tonight. I don't think like that, you know. I think positive. Ciao! <laughs> but Pete's boss has seen it all before. Marvellous, marvellous. You've been at it today. Me? Yeah. At what? Booze. <laughs> Uh, Mickey, I've never touched a drop all day. You're not getting paid, mate. You may as well go home. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. You're not working tonight. You're finished. Really? Right. Tomorrow morning, <sighs> come to confession and you'll be all right. <laughs> OK, OK. Yeah. Minor steps. Uh, um, uh, um. Coming up, Bye. Pete goes on a pub crawl with a difference. Happy Wednesday. And Grandmother Cheryl steps straight into trouble. Straight, no! In Merseyside, 
pensioners Gordon and Marie Steele are about to fly to Tenerife. First thing I'll do when I get there is feet up and a can of beer. Like thousands of our elderly, they're escaping the miserable British winter. It's just a little bit, little bit boring, should I say, our lives here. We never go out of a night time. We never go out to eat. Occasionally uh, to Liverpool. Yeah, but occasionally go to Liverpool, but we, we, we don't eat out, do we? No, no. At I'm all. Not. We just uh, watch a bit of telly. Yeah. Our lives here, though, day to day, are yeah. quite quiet, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, but just like two of those pensioners. Yeah. Also packing a bag is daughter Tracy. When my mum and dad fly out to Tenerife, they are completely different people than what they are at home. They're like piping slippers. They change, they go back to like their childhoods, and they are like teenagers. They party harder than I do, and I'm their child. But yeah, it's like literally going on an 1830s. With the taxi waiting, Gordon and Marie are on their way to the sun. It is breakfast for Tenerife. Highs today of 22 degrees. Happy Monday. Grandfather Pete is starting another shift at Lazy Day's Bar. Afternoon. A black coffee. After last night's drunken exploits, his job is on the line. Are you sober today? Yeah, perfectly. Yeah? Yeah, well, honestly. I want you to walk the line and just sing it. Do you want hand with accounts? I'll give you hand if you want. The owner's daughter, Danny, works behind the bar. He's lovely. He's, he really is a good bloke. He's just an uh, absolute nutter. One beer, please. So to try to make up for his boozing, Pete's treating Danny to an afternoon out. Tint off and I get a date. So we am. Hello, love. Nice cup of tea. He's planned an outing with a difference. I've ordered a limo, but it didn't have any. So we ended up with that. Jump aboard. OK, Danny, old time. <laughs> He's hired a tandem mobility scooter for a pub crawl. I'm ready for a Jägermeister for you. Thank you very much. Everything in Tenerife revolves around alcohol. Happy Wednesday. I don't think you're going to get a meal, cos you're not. You go and drink and that's it, all right? <laughs> Might buy you a bag of chips on the way home if you're here. <laughs> Shame about the limo, I like, but there you go. You've got to have a laugh. It's all about having a laugh. Do you think we might have a long-term relationship coming out of this thing? <laughs> I think it could be quite a serious affair, Miss Hull. After a few drinks, will he be able to manage the night shift? Do you want a drink, girls? Coca-Cola. Pete has to work seven days a week since he made a costly mistake. My twin brother was diagnosed with um, throat cancer and he went through one horrific death. I started getting really sore throat mm. and in between, my mum died then. My mum left me quite a few run. I thought, these sore throats are really kicking in and I'm going to die of what he died because everybody in my family dies of cancer, whether it's limb cancer, throat cancer, Cancer in your ass, cancer in your dick, or cancer wherever, you're gonna die of cancer in my family. Anyway, this money that I got left, I blew it all. And it turns out <laughs> I ain't got cancer. So I'm really pissed off. But I didn't die. I'm still here now, like a prick, trying to get people in this bloody bar. Beers, food, lots of food. Just have a few. Rod Stewart tonight. Gordon and Marie are starting their holiday as they mean to go on. <laughs> with a lunchtime session. <laughs> 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 
the day as well, Okay. <laughs> this holiday complex is full of party mad pensioners. It's not just the cold weather Gordon and Marie leave behind, it's also their inhibitions. <laughs> We never have any alcohol in the house whatsoever. We Years flip ago. a coin, we go from teetotal to practically alcoholics overnight. Oh, hey, you're hanging out a bit to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Loopy old age pensioners. That's not going to throw the towel in just yet. To keep the party swinging through the afternoon, the couple open their own bars. Every day at 4pm, the men retire to Gordon's bar and the ladies to Marie's. Here, I'll get you the glass in a minute. Is everyone happy now? Has yeah. everyone got a drink? Yeah. OK. Cheers. 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 Happy Good Cheers. Good As the drink flows, time for a natter. I can only remember getting a bath on a Sunday yeah, yeah. for school. Because yeah. it was school yeah. once a week. Yeah. Yeah. But once a week. Yeah. There's all these impersonators on this island, isn't there? Yeah. We've got Boy George, Little Elvis, yeah. Amy Winehouse. There was a lad that done Gary Glitter. He lost all his work. <laughs> these baby boomers feel they've earned the right to grow old disgracefully. The only people in England now who's got money is us. And we're here. Happy holidays. Yeah. <laughs> our golden years are now, aren't they? Because we, we've worked hard all our lives. We've brought up four children. Um, and I feel now it's time to look after us. Yeah. Do your children ever say to you, though, you're spending me inheritance? Mine have said it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we feel bad about spending their inheritance? Uh, no, don't I don't think, think so. so. <laughs> don't think so. Yeah. And they're also happy to spend the government's annual tax-free handout for old folk. Do you think we should raise our glasses for the heating allowance to get us out here? Yeah. For the heating allowance. Yeah. <laughs> Across the island. It's all happening for you and me, you and me. Ladies' man Leapy Lee is wooing girlfriend Bettina with a song. Hearts full of love, no more to be broken, and there will just be you and me. Oh, that was a cool one. <laughs> Despite being 74, former pop star Leapy still gigs around the bars playing to pensioners old enough to remember him. Thank you, my very darling. Very very well touching. Mm. Tenerife, I find, is a mecca for OAPs. And it course suits me because they all remember me. <laughs> I'm one of them! Yes! <laughs> Great power! Girlfriend and number one fan, Bettina, has seen Leapy perform over a hundred times. And she has some advice about how his act could loosen up. About your act, when you're dancing with your dick a little bit, I think you have to give <laughs> it more. <laughs> you have to give it more with your dick like that. Oh, no, no, You have to. It's best for the audience I'm, I'm and the women. I'm 74, darling. It doesn't matter. You can do it. Yeah, that's the way it is, baby. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's very good. Oh, come to mommy, come to mommy. <laughs> come to mommy. Come to mommy. <laughs> <laughs> When Leapy gets the female pulses racing in his show, Bettina is suddenly on a guard. I hate it sometimes. One time, one woman come up at the stage and slam that pussy to him. Yeah, I don't like that, no. And how, how old was the woman that was...? She was 75, I think. <laughs> Friday, the biggest night of the week. Tonight, anything can happen, especially for the elderly. 
can't see without the glasses on when it's close up. Grandmother Cheryl Williams is getting ready for her night out with the girls. Following her divorce, Cheryl started a new life on Tenerife. Intensive firming serum. It needs to firm a lot. <laughs> I met my husband when I was 18. I was with him for 30 years. It was just an existence, I think, in the end. When I decided to leave, that was it. I was here on holiday and went home and just said, I, I don't want to be married anymore. Half close your eyes, and get a little bit mascara. Have a glass of wine on the balcony before we head off out. Yeah, it, you know, we just enjoy ourselves. Absolutely. Life's too short, not too basically. Correct. <laughs> Come on, Cheryl. Come on, Cheryl. There you go. Flat shoes, comfort, comfort, comfort. When I was married, I never went out with the girls, never had girly things. I haven't done my hair yet, but I have. So I had to learn to be somebody else. I wasn't a married woman anymore. I wasn't a mother anymore. I was a single woman, basically. So good evening, ladies. <laughs> I found my, my youth, I suppose, and... That's probably why I enjoy going out and partying. First stop for the girls is the local sports bar. They kick off with tequila slammers. Go! Oh. I told you they'd be one two shots. That's the first of the many. <laughs> Gordon and Marie are also planning a night out. They're lining their stomachs for a session at a bar, where 65 is considered young. Got the hop and grapes tonight. That will be our venue, won't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. God's waiting room. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they call it God's waiting room? When you see the <laughs> when you see the ages down there, you'll know exactly. Yeah, what. Loves that. God's waiting room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sometimes that wait is shorter than expected. Was you there the night an old fellow he was doing the uh, alki koki? Yeah. Alki koki, yeah. yeah. The alki koki. And then he said goodbye to everyone, goodbye. He was staying at the Club Atlantis and we were staying at the Club Atlantis. And then we followed about half an hour later and when we got to the Club Atlantis he was dead. He was dead. Um, he was dead on the floor. Telling, telling the staff. But he had a bloody good night. <laughs> yeah. It does worry me about dying. Every time we come out here, there's always somebody gone from year to year. They're not always... They're, sometimes they're a bit younger than us, sometimes they're a bit older than us. And, of course, when you get to our age, you don't know what's waiting around the corner. Gordon and Marie are determined to make the most of the time they have left. Yeah, 83-year-old and I'm enjoying dancing. Good for you. We're going to meet the couple, you know, the lad who had the stroke? Yeah. We're meeting them up oh. there. As the drink flows, they look to be keeping the Grim Reaper waiting. For another night, at least. Are you ready? Tonight has been brilliant. We have had a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get up now. After partying like teenagers, Gordon and Marie have peaked. While they struggle off to bed. <laughs> Cheryl and the girls have moved on to the infamous Veronica Strip. The average age of the clubbers is 18 to 30. Cheryl is nearly double that. It's nice to mix with younger people. You get a, a different outlook on life. I've been known to have a few wild nights out here. Not over the top now.
but Cheryl's night out suddenly turns ugly. With the youngsters out of control, stop, 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 Cheryl steps in. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop! No! Right? All right, lovely, I'll okay. Fight over. Cheryl heads back to the bar. Coming up, Leapy's gig goes a bit too well. Some women were dancing in front of him with their asses. I saw that. And Gordon has a birthday treat for daughter Tracy. It's a total surprise. She won't know what hit her. While some old folk are content with Bingo and Coco, a generation of OAPs are living it up in Tenerife. Determined to blow their pensions and the kids' inheritance on having a good time. Grandmother Cheryl is recovering from a skinful. <sighs> I started out drinking the wine with the girls, then I drank Malibu and lemonade, tequila, caramel vodka, Peroni, Jaeger Vomp, a jelly shot. That wasn't very nice, actually. I didn't like that. I wasn't drunk. But my motto is, if you can't remember, it didn't happen. So there you go. Cheryl's night was interrupted when a fight kicked off. Unfazed, she stepped in to break it up. I was offered a job as a bouncer at one time, but I thought I was a bit too old for that. I don't know, I just always get involved. There was only one guy that had got injured, but I gave him a tissue and mopped him up and said, please don't fight, and that was it, finished. Despite a heavy night, Cheryl is back in the bar. Anyway, una mas, por favor, Ray. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have found myself. I'm, I'm at a level where I'm quite happy. I live in a beautiful place. I've got lovely friends. It's my home now. And have you ever looked back? No. Life's for living. No matter how old you are, just enjoy it and live it. Don't go home and have a cup of cocoa. Just have a, have a glass of wine. It's a lot nicer. Me, me, me. Come on. Across town. Pete's in danger of losing his job as a promoter. He's failing to pull in the punters. So, he's got a new plan to fill up the bar. Entertainment tonight, karaoke in the afternoon. <laughs> I had a bit of an idea yesterday to get people in during the afternoon to help matters out a bit. We're going to do a, a karaoke afternoon this afternoon. Unfortunately for Pete, where have all the people gone? No one is around to take up his offer. Karaoke in the afternoon. Oh, this is quiet, man. Boss Mick is on his case. I thought you'd have a chocolate today. Yeah, I have been getting a lot of people. In it. And you're not had a drink yet today? No, I haven't. No. no. For sure. Was it? I'm panicking. After promising his boss a packed bar, Pete's in danger of letting him down again. There's nobody about. There's just nobody about. In Los Shafiras, <laughs> Bettina is giving Leapy Lee a sensual massage. Oh. I'm very good with my hands oh. and a magic touch. Oh. Shut oh. up. Oh. Take it like a woman, man. At 74 years of age, there's always the question of how much time you've got left. Do you ever think about me dying, do you? No, I know you have the age against you, but I can also die. I can just... I can die right now when we're speaking. I would hate her to find me dead in the bed in the morning. 
stiff and cold beside her as opposed to stiff and hot. <laughs> I'm at that stage now where if I pop off, people say, well, he had a good innings. I'm at that, had a good innings stage. <laughs> Are you going to scatter my ashes somewhere? No, you know what I would do? I want to have a chip inside me with your ashes. A chip? Yeah, like my cat. You can have a little spark like that inside you, and I can get your ashes there. You will stay there in my heart forever. What? You heard me. Back at the bar, Pete's karaoke afternoon is in danger of being a flop. Today, I really stuck my neck out. I am very nervous that nobody's going to turn up. Hopefully, we're going to get a few in, OK? After turning up drunk for work earlier in the week, his karaoke plan mustn't fail. But the lure of a quick shot is too much to resist. You haven't seen this. Bloody hell. It's just 20 minutes till karaoke kickoff, and then Pete gets lucky. Coming in for a bit of a sing song with us, Ooh. and we're gonna have a laugh. Karaoke. Yeah. Oh, I'll be, I'm your man. Are you? Really? Come on then. Right then. Welcome to Lazy Days. <laughs> right. Come on then. In you come. Half an hour later, the bar is packed. <laughs> right, fire it up, man. Let's get the bloody machine sparked up. <laughs> Walk and roll, man. For now, Pete's job is safe. Gordon and Marie's daughter, Tracy, has arrived for her birthday party. She's celebrating her 50th with a bunch of party animals, her pensioner yeah. parents. Yes. Yay! Yeah. My friend Lisa's yeah. gone away with Lee Jay to celebrate the birthday. Thank you for coming. John, do you want a glass? Believe me, she thinks we have a better time than what she does at home. Otherwise, she wouldn't do it. I'm doing this punch just... Topping it up, get it in. Really get them really drunk. Gordon and Marie make sure Tracy's birthday kicks off with a bang. Gin, candy, vodka, uh, yeah. sangria, yeah. wine. Do you know What's what? this? Put a bit of that. Yeah, a martini. <laughs> oh, give it the bits in. Get them all drunk, they did all be drunk. Tracy's boozy parents have the drinking stamina of teenagers. To party with the OAPs, I'll need a holiday to get over this holiday. They know how to party hard and long and drink lots. With the party in full swing... Oh, my God, it looks amazing. ..it's time for Gordon's birthday treat. It's Tracy's special birthday. It's a total surprise, and it'll blow her mind. She won't know what hit her. Some elderly parents might arrange champagne or flowers for their little princess. Come here. But when you're an OAP behaving badly, only a stripper will do. the people just all come down, cameras going, everything going. It's fantastic, fantastic. Tracy was blown away, it's fantastic. The real party is just beginning. Silly old day, Pencher's having a good time and showing these kids how it's done. <laughs> the silver service is 
still on going and all I want to do is take my makeup off, get my PJs on and go to bed. The birthday girl has peaked. For the oldies, the night is still young. Across the island, Leapy Lee is due on stage in an hour, but keeping up with Bettina has worn him out. Eat your bread. You're exhausted. I feel like shit. Too old for it all. Too old. For what? <laughs> Do you get much peace when Bettina's here? Peace? <laughs> I don't get any peace at all when Bettina's here, actually. None. And you love it. <laughs> I love it. Eat up, eat up. Come on, come I'm on. I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating. To satisfy Bettina's needs. You look wonderful tonight, darling. I'm going to do something with you later. <laughs> Leapy turns to something that never lets him down. I don't like him to take Viagra um, because you get heart attack. You can get a heart attack. To me, if Viagra opens up all the arteries, I'll get a good old flushing through. But they, they, there are many people who have died of that. I don't know any of who's died of Viagra. Anyway, you can do it without that. Can't you? Oh, you can do it without that one anyway, can't you? Yes, Thank you. Thank you, dear. I'll pay you back later for a second. <laughs> it was at one of Leapy's gigs that Bettina first spotted the man of her dreams. But it was just his smile and his eyes and atmosphere around him. It got into me. It was love first sight. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one and only Libby Lee. I think she does secretly down. She she likes show business. Don't forget, she's very romantic for her to get on a plane and come down to a hot country. What our relationship would be if I lived three doors away from her in Denmark, I don't know. But a relationship with a pop star, even an ageing one, comes with problems. She is much too jealous. So and I told her it's part of the job, you know, uh, having a little grope here and there, well, perhaps not a grope, putting up with the odd grope. Leapy is going down a storm. Except with Bettina. I got uh, very angry with a woman who was standing up there and showed herself off to him. I saw that. But I have to learn by it. So that's the way it is. Coming up, Bettina is on her way home. Would you like for Tina to come and live permanently with you, Lee? And Pete has a cunning plan to fill the bar. I could get arrested for this, but we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> it's 8 a.m. in Tenerife. 74-year-old Gordon partied hard all night at his daughter's birthday. But a hangover doesn't get in the way of his morning routine. It's a different story, though, for the birthday girl. How's Tracy doing today? Um... She'd be in bed all day yeah. today, won't she? Yeah. So. That's, yeah, she'd, be... she'd be OK. And is this typical when you have a night out, that you guys are up and awake and Tracy sleeps? Absolutely. Right. Every single time. Yeah. And we were there till the death. They were just us in the end, sitting on that. Having another beer, I was with yeah. her. Tracy really doesn't can't keep up with us, cos we're partying for ages while we're out here. So yeah. she only parties when she's out here. So the old parents are showing them the way how to do it. It's Bettina's last morning on Tenerife. She's cooking Leapy a farewell fry-up. Come on, darling. 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 Come on, dar
down, darling. I'm coming down, dearest. Her flight home leaves in two hours. I lived with an air hostess for some years, and she told me horrendous tales about flying. Hi, darling. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> You're more afraid to fly than me. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Don't be ridiculous. Yes, you are. I've seen two plane crashes. Shut up. I know you have. You'll be all right, love. The odds are enormous in crashing. Hey, oh, my love. mushrooms as well. Yeah. So, would you like the patina to come and live permanently with you, Lee? The, the future is unsure, let's put it that way. Isn't that right, darling? Mm -hmm. I do like my own space, but I like being with her as well, so I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what the future holds, really. It's a sad day. Of course, it's a sad day, you know. I think anything less of her because I'm not in floods of tears. Pete is starting another shift. Another bloody day in paradise. The bar is hard work, but the thought of returning home leaves him cold. I'd have to be up in the morning and be at work at 7 o'clock and all that. I'd be depressed, you know what I mean? Football today, guys, inside football. Whereas there, it's a blue sky every morning you wake up. That, to me, is worth 30, 40 grand a year, just to have a clear blue sky above your head. Each day, there's new ways to pull in the punters. Now, I could get arrested for this, for stopping traffic. I don't know, but we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Nice cold beer, girl. Whatever you want. Come on. <laughs> She's absolute bonkers. <laughs> I like this idea. I think it's going to work. But today's different. Pete's received an unexpected offer. My friend, back in England, they've got a lot of property in France. Now, they want me to go over there and help them develop it into, like, a proper campsite, build some log cabins. It sounds quite an interesting little venture. Hey. But on the other hand, I don't like French people and I don't like France. Oh, no, no. Hey. Coffee. Oh. Beer. So I think I'll stay here. With Bettina safely on the plane, Leapy can recover before her next visit. Well, now Bettina is gone, uh, an aura of peace has settled onto the house. <laughs> she is a bit of a live wire, is there, Bettina? <laughs> As you probably gathered. I'm not sure about our relationship, whether it'll last or not. I haven't got much longer anyway, have I? I think if I do, heaven forbid, ever begin to ail and, 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 and get uh, seriously old and infirm, she would be my carer totally. I think she would enjoy that. It is almost like a nice cushion to have there. <clears throat> Gordon and Marie's hedonistic holiday is finally ending. Most of them are going home now. As soon as we get home, we're thinking about coming back out again. The years go so quickly, yeah. don't they? Doesn't matter if you're the richest man that lived in the world, you couldn't buy one ounce of time. And time to me is the most precious thing we ever possessed. So you've got a party non stop till you drop. Party till you drop. And one thing Gordon and Marie, Pete, Leapy, and Cheryl have learned is as you get older and wilder, you should always live for today. Mm -hmm.